Dan, a couple of weeks ago, you would have been called crazy in London for putting out a research note that looked at the potential of a Jeremy Corbyn win and what it meant for markets. Not as crazy as a month ago. What's your base case? Uh, certainly, expectations viewed by the polls is there's going to be a conservative victory. Of course, we're just talking about the margin, which will matter nonetheless for, for asset prices. Uh, but our base case is certainly that. Uh, but as you suggested, you always consider all the options. Hung Parliament, a possibility as we uh, wake up on Friday. For the markets, a grapple with what a hung Parliament actually means. We caught up with Andrew Balls of PIMCO last week, who turned around and said it will play out in FX quite badly for sterling. Yeah. The gilt yields will fall. That was his view. Mm -hmm. Now I see a load of people taking the opposite side of the trade. The gilts could actually climb. Where do you see it? Well, I think Hung Parliament, we think certainly it's going to be most noticeable in sterling. That's certainly been the most sensitive asset class from the beginning with Brexit. Uh, I think on, on gilts, it's going to take a little bit longer for the markets really to assess that. And I think that's probably going to be the challenge if we think about what's going to be the reaction on the day as opposed to one week or a month later. For equities, you look at the FTSE 100, it's become a negatively correlated proxy for an FX market, yeah. sterling. Is it anything other than that going forward from here? Well, you do certainly see, if you have a bigger move in sterling, you know, the correlation immediately with the equity markets. But, you know, in the end, as we think about, certainly for the FTSE 100, it is an international equity index, so it's really going to matter much more what's happening outside of the UK. So once you take into account the one-off currency adjustment, you're really looking at the earnings outlook, and it doesn't change that much depending on what happens in the UK. Dan, I want to get a sense of how the, the market and how the City of London is geared up for this event. With Brexit, it was a low-probability, high-impact outcome. The high-impact outcome was a global fallout. For the UK election, it's a lower probability story for the likes of Corbyn. Mm -hmm. Is it still high impact and is it only local? I think at this point it is likely to be local. I mean, the point where you're going to start seeing Europe caring more about this, uh, you certainly global markets, European markets caring more about what's happening in the UK, is when you get much, much closer to the actual uh, end date for Brexit. So at most, say, six months before, then it's going to be an issue for global markets. For now, it really is going to be sterling. It really is going to be guilds that are going to react. I think more broadly, it's going to be pretty transitory. We are kissing around the 130 level mm -hmm. on a cable rate. Do you want to be long sterling going uh, into this Thursday? <laughs> I think at this point we've learned with these elections that taking, uh, I think, positions when you have uh, basically a binary outcome is pretty risky. I think we'd be neutral in Sterling at this point. Wait to see what the action is and then move in at that point. Dan Morris.